Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, or Niramas, and I'm here today with Draco. We are going to take a look at Guecha, Nine Kings of Solomon, a game by Christian Carlberg. And in this game, we are contacting, conjuring, and worshipping demons to get victory points. So, to get those points, we need to do some worker placement using our meeples that are outside here, the workers. In the city and the city outskirts, we can place our meeples and get more of them to get more workers to get more cubes. The cubes are like this one is metal and over here we have some elements, but I'm only going to refer to them by their color. In this game, you both get those cubes to do worker placement. You contact, conjure and worship these demons out here to get their powers and also get strong abilities and points. And in the end, you want to get these purple cards that would score you a lot of points in your tableau, because this is also a tableau builder. So we will have, like this, I could have these powers here that I got, and as I get to four, I need to place the fifth on top of something else. I'll still get the points shown here, but I will cover up an ability that was on that card below there. I'll get this maybe, and then I might get some purple cards. I have to put these up here, and then these purple cards will score me points like this one, gain two VP for each set of cubes you have. So they will sort of score me points depending on other things I've been doing all through the game. Now to get those cubes from out here on the board, we will use our workers. And the last thing you do in the setup is that each player grabs three of their workers. So let's say I'm the red player, I could take this guy here and one down here and maybe this one up here. Then the green player, he will take one here, there and there and the blue player as this is a three player game by the way the blue player will take these then on my turn let's say i'm the first player i will place one of these workers out here on any of these spots that i can go to now i need to consider some things here first of all what kind of cubes do i want uh, and also some of these spots are by themselves like this some of them are linked like this and I'll explain that in a minute, but let's say that I go out here and I grab two blue cubes or two metal. Okay, that is the blue player. He's going for some blue over here as well. And we have the green player and he's going for some yellow cubes. And let's say that, hmm, where am I going? Well, I think, I think I'll go over there for another blue. So I'll pick that up. And the blue player can go here. It's a lonely slot here to get two greens the green might go over there and get all three lovely blue metal cubes that's my turn let's say i go over here i only get one the blue goes over there he will get one red cube and finally the green i think he'll go yeah he'll go over here and get another yellow so then when we all placed our workers we will check to see if we will get any demonic powers from over here. Right now there's no such thing as these scryboards haven't been developed yet. So we instead remove or take back our workers that have, we have used. And here's the thing that I mentioned earlier, like this guy, he's all by himself on a lonely space there, he's gonna come home. So does this blue and this blue, and let's see, these two red will come home because they are both covering up both of those connected slots like that and same for the green but this green he will stay out here because this spot that he went to is connected to two other spots and they are not filled with workers which means he gets stuck here and he will have one less worker to use on the next round as we keep going like this we will of course use these cubes for something as well and the main use here in the beginning or what you want to go for of course is to get more workers to get more workers we could take a look at the spot down here. Here's also a worker placement spot. So let's say that the green player wants to have his green pawn here, he wants to get one more. He could go here and right now he would have to pay one coin, which I will explain in a minute, but he will also have to pay cubes, every cube that you can see out here. So since the blue is still stuck here, he it's covering that up, but that's one blue, two green, one, two, three more blues. So that's five blue in total and two green plus a coin for him to get this worker. But um, that's not entirely true. Since we're playing a three play game, the fourth plot here is covered like this with a disc. This means that since the red and the blue player already taken their worker from this spot, there are some discounts. So we have two X's showing here, and that means that two cubes are discounted. So the green player would have to pay, let's say he will pay one, two, three, four 
blue cubes, but he doesn't have to pay the green. He can choose however he wants to get those two discounts. And if he did, he would get this worker like this. And since that card now is empty, we would flip it over. And as we flip it over, it becomes a new spot where we can pick up four green cubes. But in order to do that, let's say I want to go there, then I would have to pay everything that is visible here in order to get those green cubes. The same goes for all these cards out here, but they have different functions, of course, depending on uh, which random card was put out there in the setup. Now, another thing we should talk about is that if I were, for example, wanting to go over here to release my worker from here, which by the way, when I get him, I can use him right away in that same round. That is really good. But in order to do that, in this case, I would have to pay all these cubes that we can see here. So this is not a good time to do it. I want to wait until some of these spaces are covered, but I also need to pay a coin. So how do I get coins? Well, let's talk about that because out here on the scryboard, there are ways to get coins. The coins are also referred to as attention, but I think I will slip up and call them coins at some point anyway. So, but they are called attention in the game. You sort of get the attention of the demons, right? So on my turn, I could, instead of going out here, like I shown you, I could also spend an action to send one of my workers onto this bot here. This would give me two yellow cubes right away. So that's also a way to get cubes. Also, when I go to this bot, I need to pay one cube of the color responding that is closest to the scribeboard. In this case, I need to pay one green cube in order to go here and pick up my two yellows. But as I go here, at the end of the round, this guy will not come home until this board is totally covered with workers like this. And at the end of the round, he will get one of this attention, one of the coins. Let's say that there were only one coin left here and we had a situation where it looks like this, then whoever went closest to the top of the scryboard, the blue player will get a coin. I will not get a coin though. So that's why you want to go closer, but if you go further away, you get better stuff. Also, down over here, we could get a black cube. A black cube is a really powerful essence and it is used as a wild card. It can act like any of the colors. Anyhow, let's say that we have completed this board here. We have all the uh, attention, it's gone. Then we will take this scry board, we will flip it over and we'll put it over here. As we flip this board over, a few things will happen. First of all, we will take the card that was closest to the scry board, this green one here. We will flip it over and see that this belongs to the King Belial demon and we'll put it up here and whoever was closest on the scribe over there gets to choose if they want to place it like this which means that to go here now costs one red and one blue cube or they could go like that and it's a yellow a black and a green so let's say they go like this and as we place it the card there we chosen the cost now there's a hole here in the city right so we need to slide these over like this and we will take one of those white cards that we set aside at the start of the game and flip it over and place it here. In this case, we get a new worker placements plot that has two reds that we can grab. And then we take the King Belial card, which is three in this case, since it's a three player game, and we'll put them right here. Now these are demonic powers that people could pick up and put in their tableau. But to do that, if I wanna go here, well, I would need to pay the cost. When I come here, and let's say that we, the bo both me and the blue player went over here and we pay the cost. At the end of the round, we will check to see if we get some demonic powers. And yes, that's the case right now. So we will take two cards and now the blue player will get to choose one first since he was closer here on the top. And since there's two pawns there, there will be two cards given out. So he can choose one of these depending on what he's going for. He will get points, he'll get special abilities and so on. And he'll hand the other one to me and I'll start building my tableau. Once all these cards are taken, all the powers, we will, the, well, these guys will be sent home and this card will be removed from the game. And now we have a new slot here that can be used to get purple cards, which I'll, we'll explain in a minute. But now we need to pay all the costs that are visible. So it's really expensive. So let's talk a bit about the purple cards. There's three here in each column since we're playing a three player game. So the game will end when in a three player game where there's only three cards left, 
in a four player game when there's four and so on. Another way the game could end is if one player has four purple cards in their active tableau. And as you do that action over there, as I just shown, then you can pick up one of these purple cards. There's another way as well. If one of these cards, these three special cards that are on this side here, if they get flipped because there's no more workers here, then you get a new action here where you have to, well, you can go here, but you will have to pay those four black cubes, which are kind of hard to get. You will also have to pay everything that you can see here, of course. And then you can pick up one of these purple cards, which can give you a lot of points for the end game. So that is the base of Goetia, Nine Kings of Solomon. And I hope you enjoyed this how to play video. If you have any questions about the game and so on, please let us know in the comments and I will refer those to the designer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning, whenever you're watching. Take care, bye bye. Breathe in, look into these eyes. Subscribe to the channel. Now, exhale.